Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is a pleasure to be in the presence of the people of God who are listening to the Word of God. Today I will be bringing a Word of God when someone is lost and what are the Bible verses that we can use as a comforting verse and strengthening to them in the times of their grieving. Let us look to God in prayer. Father, we thank you and we honor you. Lord, as we learn about your word, Father, we pray that, Father, you will grant us wisdom and understanding power as we understand your word and, Father, as we comfort when some of someone is lost. Be with us and strengthen us and teach us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I have said that we will be discussing something, some points on comforting verses from the Bible. I will be beginning to say that life is not very easy in every one of our lives. There are always ups and downs where uh, we find in a life journey. Yes, loss is a part of life, but no, it but knowing it doesn't matter And it doesn't make it easier for our lives as we lose someone, our loved ones, and their ones. We should also know that that of loved ones often takes a toil on those of us who are left behind. And at times it can be felt like a grief never ending. But let us not be discouraged because the word of God from the Bible is a strong healing and it gives more strength to each and every one of us who believe in him. Let us understand that from the book of John chapter 11 verse 25 and 26 says, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? This is a wonderful word we as a child of God we as a sons and daughters of the living God the word is really encouraging us because Jesus has shown a good example to us by his life by his death he died but he resurrected and it has been taught to us that one who believes in me will live even though they die and whoever believes in me will never die this is a wonderful encouraging word as a christian our life is not always a permanent in this world but one day or other day we will be leaving this world and we should be always encouraged that god is always there with us even in the times of our problem the book of first corinthians chapter 15 verse 42 and 42 44 it says that so it uh, so will it be with the resurrected resurrections of the dead the body that is sown is perishable it is raised in perishable it is shown in dishonor it is raised in glory it is shown in weaknesses it is raised in power and it is shown in natural body it is raised in spiritual body if there is a natural body there is also a spiritual body isn't it a wonderful word that we are being reminded that our body, our journey is not permanent. We might be having a perishable body, but we are having an imperishable spiritual body. We should know that we will be raised when we believe, when we receive Jesus Christ and we receive the salvation of God when we are alive. We know that even we are that our body will decay, yet our spirit will live forever with God. Isn't it a wonderful word that we have life after our death? <clears throat> Psalms 34 verse 18 says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in a spirit. Yes, when someone is lost, when our loved one is lost, we are brokenhearted physically as well as we are crushed in spirit. We lose words in prayers, but we should not always um, discourage rather we should be happy because the word god 
the word of God is so encouraging that he never leaves a broken heart because Psalms 147 verse 3 says, He heals the broken hearted and bind up their wounds. Yes, we are undergoing different trials, emotional traumas, physical traumas and all. Yet, God is binding up our wounds and that is wonderful that God, God is always with us and he is never dis disowning us. Let me remind you from the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 and 14. It says that, brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in that, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind, who have no sleep in that, so that they do not grieve, so that they do not grieve like the rest of the mankind who have no hope for we believe that jesus christ died and rose again and so we believe that god will bring with jesus those who fall a fallen asleep with him isn't this a wonderful word once again i read for all of us brothers and sisters we do not want you to be informed uninformed okay in informed about those who sleep in that so that you will not grieve like the rest of the main kind. Of course, as a human being, when someone dies, when someone we lose, we grieve a lot. But the word of God is telling us uh, we, we, we don't want to be uninformed because they sleep by death. We are being encouraged not to grieve like the rest of the mankind. Mankind means those who do not receive the word of God, those who have not accepted the um, salvation in their life. But what is that? We have hope. We have hope in God. So we shouldn't be grieving like those people who are, you know, the rest of the mankind who have not received salvation, forgiveness of sins. For we believe in Jesus died and rose again. You and I has always believed Jesus as our master. He is the one who came and died in our, for our sins and have rose up for us. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him we are much encouraged we are strengthened because we know that when the second coming of jesus christ comes the dead will be risen and jesus will bring along with them in the glory and we are going to meet them face to face our faith is such a challenging one our faith is such a promising one that we are being encouraged not to be afraid we are being encouraged not to mourn like others First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17, 18 says, After that, who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with this word. My dear brothers and sisters, yes, we lost someone, we lost someone, our loved one physically, but we are going to meet them spiritually once again. And therefore, you and I need to keep our faith consistently, believing in God, accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, and live by the word of what God has taught to us. Because we are, we are so much encouraged and blessed because the book of Psalms, Psalms 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble and the mountain quack with their singing. Our God is always there, strengthening us and helping us to move around, move alone in the future. And therefore, physical uh, loss is a grieving. Their presence is what we miss them. But we should always be reminded that we are the children of God and they are in a, in a blessing place in a heavenly abode in the, with the Lord Jesus Christ and they are with it, uh, resting eternally and waiting for us and now as a living um, being as a living part of our life what we have to do is to keep our faith consistently believing in God that in faith we will we will meet them one a uh, face to face one day yes of course it is very difficult to say you know to find the right word when someone is um, suffering and having a great loss but let us remind from this above verse, encouraging and helping one another. Let us look to God in prayer. Father, I pray for the strength to overcome the grieving of period when someone is when someone has lost some loved ones. 
I pray for the other person who is watching over this video at the other end of this screen, Lord, if they have lost someone, their loved ones, their close one, I pray, Lord, your comfortings and strength will strengthen them. And Lord, I pray that, Father, you will, you know, help them to go ahead with their life because your word is always there, binding our wounds and healing us, Lord God. I pray that, Father God, you will give them strength to go ahead to live life, Father God, and keep believing and sharing your word to other too, Lord. We thank you for your comforting verses. Words in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Be strong in faith and have, have, have hope in Jesus Christ. See you next time. Amen.